We're going to run QBasic now, which is actually not the standard QBasic, it's called QBX, which is the um, last version of QBasic. This is a QBasic environment. On this one, I, there is a mouse pointer, but if you're running it straight from DOS, you will have no mouse pointer, which means you have to use the the Alt key and the down arrow and then the Enter key like that and to select your file you do Alt F and you can move it around and select your file um, and that's the way that I usually do it but if you have a mouse pointer then you can just double click the file I'm going to show you a program which I wrote from scratch which is a file that makes the the people appear in the um, Live simulator, so I'm going to open that. I've rewritten this. This is how you would normally find your Live simulator with no records. So now what you can do is you can add members of your family. So I'm going to do A for add. It's now asking for the name of the person, so I'm going to type in my son, J. Where does he come into the building? You've got the choice of ground, basement one, basement two, or basement three but um, as my son is only five years old he will come in on the ground floor and not in the car park he is male and you can do male, female, boy, girl so actually I'm going to change that so I'm going to do um, um, B for boy um, there's also another setting which I don't know what to do with it yet um, I'm open for suggestions about how this person will act X to finish and there he is. Now you can go on like this, you can keep adding people, so add someone else, X to finish. You can add up to 230 people, but you can keep adding people, or what you can do is you can add random people. For this, I've got different nationalities. Actually, I'm just going to stop the program running and I'll show you the um, nationalities. I've got appearances and I've got nationalities. Now this is not going to give you any graphics but it's just there to give the um, person a little bit of a personality but only in text. So I'm going to do appearances. Gives you a little bit of an insight as to what these do and what I've done is I've just added some lines in here um, normal, tall, small, nice to give you an impression of what that person might be. So that person might be happy, might be grumpy, etc. Add a new line, you just select it, edit, copy, edit, paste, and there's a new line. And then you can change the, um, the smiley, or you can put um, three letter text in there to what your new person's going to be. It's F2, nationalities. There's a big long description about how this all works and how to put in new nationalities. Down the bottom here, what I've done is I've gone to a website and I've looked for, I think, the word nationalities and it come up with a whole load of nationalities and I've just copied them into here. If there's any missing, same as before, select the line, copy it, paste it down the bottom, change the text. Um, settings. There's lots of settings in here. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see this from the camera, but you can select the percentage of different ages. Young, you've got middle age, you've got older, you've got older still, and you've got very old. For example, if you put very old up to 100 and put all the rest at all at zero, then 100% of people added as a random will be very old. At the minute, I've split it all up. You've got ten percent of toddlers. <laughs> I don't really know why I put toddlers in there, but um, if you don't want that, you can just make that a zero, so it won't select any, and that is a percentage, so zero percent. But now you've got to add the ten that's been removed here to the other ones. You must add up to a hundred percent. So that plus that plus that plus that plus that plus that must equal a hundred. So there's a few settings that you can change there. So I'm going to do R for random. This is going to make 100 people at the moment you can add up to 219 left and you press U and D to increase or decrease that number 
So I'm going to go up to the maximum possible. So I keep pressing up. Okay, maximum reached. Press X to exit. Are you sure you want to create 219 new people? Yes. And now you get a choice to watch it happen, or you can, and it's done it. So here are all your people in the building now. Um, you can scroll backwards or forwards. So I'm just going to go back to the back to the start. And there are there's Fred, Jay, and Jack, and everyone else is all random. Uh, you can also, once it's made these people, edit them and and change them to what from what they are. Here's all my people, all the way up to 221. So I'm happy with that now. I'm now going to write it to the file. So I'm going to do X to finish. Are you ready to make a new file? Yes, I am. And there's all the people done. So let's run Lift Simulator now. Open Lift Simulator. This Lift Simulator I have been working on now for about three weeks. And I've been doing about one or two or three and sometimes four hours per night. So I've done quite a lot on this at the moment. So I'm going to run it up. There's still a little bit of work to do. The computer's seen that I've got 220 or 219 people in the database. Uh, this I haven't finished yet. I'm going to make this a lot more um, user friendly. I'm going to put 29 floors. Um, that's all I'm going to do for the moment on that one. Um, X. Uh, this is um, what I call the amenities floors, which is. Um, where everyone can go to get a coffee <laughs> or whatever um, but this is just an idea so that people it encourages people to move around move off their floor go to a central location have a coffee then come back to the back to their original floor um, but to do that you've actually got to install some floors so as it says here no floors installed press i so i'm going to install a floor a coffee area on the 10th floor it's going to light up here install another one on the 20th floor and what that means is as people enter the building there is a time setting which which is here which I have not quite finished yet if I finished here I'm going to do X to exit this page those are all my people from the uh, previous program here we go now at the minute I'm still doing some tests and I've got a little bit of text data up on the screen here Something else which I've done to this, just going to end the programming. We're going to go to a sub program called values. These are settings that you need to put in to suit your computer speed. So I'm going to run the program now, and there's going to be a change. I'm going to install 29 floors, that's the maximum that you can do. I'm going to increase the speed of the lifts just slightly to 11. Exit out of there, install an amenities floor on the 5th, the 10th, and uh, the 20th. X, there's all my people. Right, as I said before, this is just a little bit of test data that I'm doing. As the door opens, it will now learn the door opening speed. And initially, if I call the lift, See up in the corner there, it's learning the door open speed. And you can see this value going up, and this is a, de a delay which slows the doors down. So at the minute, it's learning the speed of your computer. Because there's one limitation with QBASIC, and that is that different faster computers mean the program runs faster. Slower computers gives the reverse effect. So QBase, it can't really be the same speed on everyone's computer. And as you can see, it's starting to slow down now. The value is currently at 88,000. 88, is that 88,000? Too fast at the moment. And as you can see, it's just learnt it. So now, that is saying, oh, I've missed it. But you've got to <laughs> write that value down. And the doors are just closed. They've closed miles too fast. And again, it's doing it again. It's now learning the door close speed again there's a delay it will tell you 
There we go. Got it. Value is that. Maybe I should put a little bit more of a delay in there so it <laughs> so it can show you what it is now. The improvements that I've done, as you can see, the um, displays above the doors are slightly different. They are seven segment displays, or you can change it back to your um, the previous version. I'll just show you that. Now, for this, I have to type in a little command, but it will be automatic. You'll be able to do this yourself. Run the program again go into the setup and come out again and there we go there's the original displays so you can change it from a an LED digit to a seven segment display with lamps on either side so I'm just going to change it back because I prefer the, the uh, lamps myself